Hello everyone, Afro Tears here uh, and I'm back with my analysis again. Uh, I know it's been some time since I've done some analysis, especially on YouTube. Um, and I blame that on my 9 to 5. It's been quite a hectic season. Um, but yeah, I'm back at it. And to kick it off, uh, I'm going to be doing my all-time favorite, as you may know, uh, which is Sassel. Um, a lot has happened since I analyzed Sassel previously. Uh, and I did have a look at the charts today, and I noticed something extremely interesting. Um, so yeah, interestingly enough as well, um, looking at the technicals, uh, the last time I analyzed this, I think it, we were at the buy zone, buy or neutral, I can't quite remember. Um, but now it's at the strong sell. And um, we've seen that Sassel is taking quite a dip. Um, and it's hovering around the 20s. Uh, the 120s which we thought we wouldn't see uh, anytime soon uh, but it's here um, so let's have a look at the actual charts okay so here we are uh, we're currently looking at the 30 minute chart um, of the Sassel share price uh, the last time I analyzed this was on 19th of August when we had our big rebound um, after Sassel tested the um, 123 support line uh, this was after the earnings uh, and we saw a very big dip and a very strong rebound after that um, we went above 144 and since then we've been seeing a gradual downtrend of the share price the share price looks quite stable now just above 120 although we do see that it went um, below that at some point at 110 and then it had a, a, a good rebound and it seems like it has stabilized uh, for now. Um, if we do assume the trend will continue, we will definitely go below 123 and possibly below 120 as well. Um, and I know that you're wondering what the screen zone is, and I'll get to that point um, in just a moment. Um, so this is the downtrend that I'm expecting to see. Um, if the worst does happen, um, but there is a good chance that uh, it can break through this as well. Um, important to note, I'm not holding any Sassel uh, stock. I did let go quite some time back. Uh, if you're following me on Twitter, you would know this. Um, so yeah, um, if things do go well, um, I'm expecting this uh, horizontal trend to continue until we possibly hit this green downtrend line. And let me show you why. Um, and this will also include this green zone here, which I have noted. Okay, so I've taken a bit of a step back. Uh, we're now looking at uh, a day chart uh, where we were previously looking at the 30 minute chart. So we can see this um, downtrend line here. This is something I noted quite some time back um, as the overall trend of the Sassel share. Uh, and you can see that this is around 26 April 2019 and this downtrend actually started um, on 11 September 2018 um, so I noted these two points at first um, which were basically respecting this downtrend line and this green zone basically means we've reached that point again where we're approaching the downtrend line so chances are this dip is because of that as well um, herd mentality so it's quite expected so chances are from now we might see the downtrend continue for quite some time. Um, possibly we will go below um, 110 um, in the near future. We'll only know exactly for sure um, around 11 November. Um, this is when we're expecting to um, approach this actual line, um, if not yet. Um, if we don't cross this line by 11 November, um, chances are the downtrend will continue and perhaps we can profit uh, in the short term from some fluctuations uh, but this is a stock I'm um, having my hands off uh, for now um, if we do manage to break through this um, downtrend line that will be new territory and then we'll have to re-establish if they and then we'll have to re-establish what the overall trend will be or how it will continue um, there is a chance where 
um, we'll see something like um, it break through um, to somewhere around there and then the downtrend still continues um, let me just draw a line and then we possibly have a downtrend that continues uh, further down uh, but all this will do really is just um, shift uh, this overall downtrend line um, so if this is the new corner um, it will just shift the new downtrend line still keeping the overall downtrend um, for the trend to change we need something extravagant which is unlikely that we'll see from Sassel um, if it goes somewhere like there um, then we can reevaluate what the situation is uh, but chances are um, it's best to expect the worst uh, so yeah um, let me know what you think uh, in the comments and don't forget to follow me. Peace.